Thank you to everyone that's in studio with us. I'm a lot more relaxed now because I was hella nervous before this interview started. And now I'm okay. I'm good. We've How been jamming to AKA. This is a Fresh sending me that message. Fresh loves you. You should have heard him I talking about your radio days. Fresh. He remembers every single time you were on radio, what you said, how you said it. Earlier on, he was literally giving me the Nolene radio show back to back to back to back. Are you back. kidding me? I oath. So I unfortunately missed you on radio because we weren't up in Gauteng. But you did radio and you did your fair share of interviews. Who was the toughest person for you to interview? On radio? In life. In life. Oh, my word. Uh, I, I can't remember. I, I know that there were, there were, oh, I'll tell you who. It was um, mm. on radio. Uh, there were a group of comedians from uh, the States who had come through. Okay. And they were doing some uh, comedic, um, you know, road shows. They came onto the show. I think it was about a month into Three Talk. They came onto the Ooh. show and basically, they, so I asked, you know, you know, what is, uh, what's your highlight about South Africa so far, the girls? Uh, what do you mean? Are they so easy? And I, oh from, my gosh. from there, it went downhill with these guys. Actually, after five minutes, I looked into camera and I said, please help me, South Africa, because <laughs> I do not know what, what to, to do. do. And I was wearing some brown outfit and he said, oh, you look like a USB truck or UBS truck. Uh, these, uh, no, no, no. It was, it was. What you know, do they think this is? It was absolutely uh, it was so terrible. It was so, 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 so terrible. But, you know, I thought, okay, this is live television. You've got to make it work. You've got the guests here. Just make it. And then we just got callers and they were responding to the callers. But I think they left the studio feeling very sorry for themselves. But it was it was hard. It was really, really hard. Back to your history. How did you crack it into the industry? Who gave you your break? Um, which one? Radio or... Radio first, then TV. Well, I... I Had you never been on TV until Three Talk? No. What? No, 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 no. I, I, Donna Ferreira called me. Um, I'd, I'd stopped doing... No, in fact, before I stopped doing um, radio, he called me and I had um, won this global radio thingy that was going to be done in Cuba. Oh, wow. So he called me and he said, you know, there's this show that's happening. Uh, it's for three months. It's a talk show. I said, I'm not, I've got a voice for radio. I do not have a face for television. No. And then I went to Cuba for about a month, came back and he's like, please, can you come in? No. Until I think March 20, 2003. Um, that's when I, no, yes. Then he said, come on. Do this thing. Cheapest. I said, okay, I'm going to do TV for three months. Donnie, three months. And then you And done. then I'm done. And then there was another six months and then another three years and then another three years and, uh, and now 12 it's years been later. 12 years. Cheapest. Just, We've got a call high. for you on the line. Someone wants to ask you something. Hello. You're on 5 Labazzo. Hello. Hi. Welcome to 5 FM. You can ask Nalene your question. Okay. Hi, Nalene. Hi, Labazzo. <laughs> How are you? I'm good. How are you? I am on top of the world. I can hear that. Okay, so um, I just want to wish you well for everything that you're going to be doing after this. I'm so sad that you're living, but I'm very happy that you, you know, do something else for yourself, you know. Um, as well, I was just going to ask you, I am in the medical field. I just want to transition to TV. What advice can you give me? Because I feel like um, there's no much security in that. There's no security in medical, and you think that there's security in TV? No, I mean, there's no security in TV, so I just, I'm just like afraid of giving oh, up that and you, going you, oh, to the other one. Oh, hold, hold on, girl. Hold well, you on. listen how on the old, radio, bub. How, sorry, how old are you, Libato? I'm 23. 23? Oh, Libato. Okay. Yeah, All right. Listen on the radio, my sweetie. I'll, I'll give you my two cents worth. You know, if you're going to do something, you've got to do it with passion. Sure. You've got to be, do it with passion, put a bit of humor in it, and you're going to have the time of your life, all of your life. That's not my quote. That is Dale Carnegie. But having said that, if you are looking for security at 23, great. Put money into <laughs> a uh, an investment account. Invest for your future. But have fun, Libatso, because right now you're thinking of, oh, my word, there's no security in television or in radio. No, there isn't. But you've got to do something that you love and you, mm. you enjoy. There'll always be security if you, the, you find know, there's something. There's never going to, but you've got to do something that you really love and enjoy. Speaking of loving and enjoying, we have a friend of yours who's said some really cool stuff about you. So can we play her voice clip? Okay. It's Anele. 
see who still needs. I cannot believe you used to that it's been 12 years. It was just yesterday when everyone was in Cape Town celebrating seven years of Nolene Maola Nassan. It's been wonderful. I've been on the show many times and I never, ever, ever thought that I'd been in the studio. I was just sitting down on the couch and just speaking to like my older sister or my aunt. Let's not forget that Nolene did bully me as a child. Uh, and then I was very easy by So uh, I told Anela last night that I was going to be chatting to you and she insisted that I say to you, Bele Gaz. Oh, oh, thank you, my Anele. I, I absolutely adore Anele. Uh, you know, I think Anele and I are pretty... Your best friends. That's what you are. <laughs> no, we are, but also we, we're very similar. Yeah, definitely. We are so similar. Anele and I, when I met Anele... Um, when she was about three years old, um, you know, I, I looked you at this her. little girl. I did not bully her. <laughs> I just told her what to do and not what to oh. do and chased her down the street. And It's and fine. Everything comes full circle because she then bullied me. So oh, is you it? bullying her ended up... Anele, daughter, I never bullied you. Just a little, maybe. <laughs> just a little. <laughs> I can't... Solo and over time, you're listening to 5 FM with Poppin. Jongwan and in the Eastern Cape, they call her Bobby. <laughs> <laughs> you are too much fun. Oh, I forgot to say that uh, to, to back it up. Oh, I did back announce it's 1246. Thank you. My pleasure. Oh, man, you are such a, a pleasure to hang out with. I uh, got a tweet here from Mongani who says that uh, the one interview that stands out for him is when you were sampling Somizi's homemade drinks. Do you remember that? Yeah. No, 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 no. Uh, uh, is it Mongile? Oh, Mongani. Mongani. Yes. Mongani, what, what uh, Songaga does is that he always brings his own drinks into studio because he says, oh. you know, Three Talk is so stingy, so let me bring my own drinks. So he will bring a cooler bag and he will bring his uh, mixing uh, jugs and his own ice and he will make his own drinks. Oh. So he will bring champagne and he will drink uh, bring vodka, whatever, 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 and throughout the show. As he changes... He he makes himself a different drink. You? Some of them How do you Gaga, deal with that? are stunning. Some of them not so much. Woo-woo. Not so much. Here's <laughs> another one from Lifa on Twitter who says he's curious or she's curious. How did you handle when Bongani Fasi went nuts on Three Talk? Was that a, a thing? I don't remember that. Um well I'm, he he was very upset. Mm-hmm. It was it was um you know, we were talking about it was ten years after Mabri had gone. Sure. And uh, obviously you know in um, not obviously maybe it wasn't the right time to ask but I was asking um, who was it that was uh, was was with uh, Mongani but I was asking someone about how they handled you know the drug abuse over the years and it, he then came in and he basically got very upset okay and I said no it's fine Bongani I'll stop asking the questions because I can understand you know sure and um you you know in circumstances like that you you've got to go with the flow you've got to I responded as 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 sympathetically and empathetically as I possibly could mm-hmm. but he obviously was very very upset about it and okay. he, he left Wow! Yeah, live on live TV. Well, he waited for the ad break, and then, he, <laughs> and then he gee, thanks. I have a question from you from a broadcaster's perspective. How do you think you've grown over the years? Because 
I bet you weren't the same person 12 years ago that you are now. Absolutely not. I must say that on radio, I was I was exceptionally hard. Mm. I was exceptionally guns blazing and it was about, you know, I'm going to nail and, you know, it was always about, you know, going for the jugular. Sure. And and once I got onto uh, television, it's it's a very different medium. And I just, you know, kind of was like, let me just be me. I'm not that hard hitting person all the time. Mm-hmm. So I'm going to go on to television and I'm just going to do me. I'm just going to honestly be me. And as time grows, as and as older, the older you get as well, you're not so concerned about what you look like. Sure. Uh, listen, you've got to look presentable on TV. But, you know, I'm, I'm not, I don't have hang ups about, you know, whether I'm 20 kilograms overweight or 30 kilograms or 40 kilograms, whatever it is. And when people, you know, say you fat this or fat that, it's like, okay. Okay, whatever. It's my food, my stomach, my fat. So not your problem. No, it not doesn't. your circus, not your clown. Nah, got you. Nah. We have an Nati Msengana who's paid tribute to you as well. So oh, can we play her clip? Nati's. Yo, this music is emo. So my question then after that is Thank you, Nati. If you had to choose radio or TV, which one would it be? It's it's very it's a you know, this is what people asked me when I left radio um twelve years ago. And um and I and I said, you know, I, I, I really wouldn't know. I because I love both. But both come with different challenges mm-hmm. and different experiences and different outputs. Would I say that I prefer radio over TV? No. Would I prefer TV over radio? No. I love both. It's like two children. Cure. Sure. Uh, We're two side guys. We need to wrap up our chat with um, Nolene, Mama Nolene. Um, where to from here? What's, what's going to happen? What is your plan? Well, the first plan is that I'm going to grow, grow a herb garden. Oh, snap, you were being serious about that. I thought you were joking no, no, when no, you no, mentioned you know it what? earlier. No, no, I'm, <laughs> I'm, I'm being serious. I've been working since I was 16. Cheapest. 16 years old. And, and you know what, Pops? I really just want to do me. That's For amazing. the next few months, I really just want to do me. I, I want to... Just not be pressurized to do anything. Mm. I, I I would love to go to a Cordon Bleu school in Paris. Oh, wow. And, you know, that's what I'd like to do. But that's, you know, in the future, I would love to just chill and uh, give back some more. But honestly, I have absolutely no plans whatsoever. I'd be lying to you. If it changes, I'll let you know. Awesome. And what do you think you've you've left us with in terms of a legacy? Because oh, best I think, believe you know what? people I, are, are I, crying right I, now I, I, and <laughs> listening to you. People shouldn't. This is such a, I mean, change is good. Change is awesome. And, you know, for, for, for people that are, you know, crying, I'd say, no, don't, guys. Really, this is not a, I'm 47, turning 48 in September. Uh, there's plenty time to, for reinvention, but it was time to hang up my high shoes, my high heel shoes. Your lubes. We yeah. believe you have a collection. I do. Sue said to mention um, motorboating to you. <gasps> I, I don't know what that's about. Sureshni Ryder. What has she, have you motorboat? I don't want to know. I did not Let's motorboat <laughs> her. She taught me how to motorboat. Oh, whatever. She did. <laughs> Who's got the boobs in this equation? You do, not Sureshni. That's no, all she, I'm saying. She did it on someone else while oh, I watched. snap. <laughs> this is getting nasty. <laughs> Nolene Maolo Nasango on the House of Poppy. Thank you so much for your time. All the best for, your, for the future. Mwah, mwah, mwah. And thank you for being such a light and inspiration to so many South Africans. Thank you, my babe. Jam of the day, 5 a.m. Cheers. Five FM.